Today is uh, February 20, uh, 19th, 2023, camping up at the Brookfield Horse uh, Camp up in Moscow Hill for um, President's Day weekend. Just been doing some hiking. Yesterday was beautiful. I actually have another video. Um, I'll probably upload that later because I did it on my other camera. But uh, yeah, today's cloudy. It's mild though. It's in the low 30s to probably up to 40 or so. Um, last night was beautiful. It was mild, uh, starry, clear, no wind. Um, actually, have another video from yesterday I did, which shows you know how blue the sky was, which isn't the case today. But uh, it's it's nice. Not a lot of snow up here. The ground's still frozen, although I think it's going to thaw out today. I'm going to do some hiking. Probably just do road hikes along the truck trails, which are nice and hard, so they shouldn't be soft and muddy. Although I'll see when I get up there. It's going to get windier later, but uh, that's to be expected. I got a uh, nice pile of wood organized, which is good because if it's anything like yesterday, I went out hiking and uh, I had planned to get back around 5.30, but I misjudged the time, kind of lost track of it, got going exploring a trail up on Grassy Hill. Then I lost the trail and then it took a while to get bushwhacked back to the road and... Um, by the time I got back to camp, it was 6.10, which was, you know, dusk or a little after that. Um, so uh, I had good wood piles stacked up and everything was ready to go once I got back. So I just had to turn things on. And I had a flashlight, so I wasn't, wasn't concerned. But uh, it was definitely pretty close to getting dark by the time I got back. So yeah, I got the wood all ready for this afternoon. Had uh, eggs this morning for breakfast. I haven't had them in a while because, you know, eggs are so expensive right now. And... Uh, you know, I, I don't really like having eggs at home because I think it's a little too much, uh, you know, for breakfast, especially if I'm not going to be burning a lot of calories. But uh, I figure while I'm camping, I will be out hiking and chopping wood and stuff, so might as well have some eggs. And, I mean, I got them at stores where they were a little less expensive than the grocery store. And I love these pavilions here. They're, they're fantastic up at the horse camp. Um, all this mud in my truck, that's just from driving on... Uh, uh, Skeeting Atlas Turnpike, uh, you know, they, they uh, this truck was clean uh, when I left, and I haven't been on any dirt roads, just so much sand from, uh, you know, traction control, the bottom of Skeeting Atlas Turnpike off of 8, going up the hill is like, like has like an inch of sand on it from all the times it's been uh, icy out, so they just kind of they throw more sand down to help with traction because they don't use salt. All the cars out in Madison County in the winter are so dirty. But I mean, it's hands a lot better for the environment and um, keeps doesn't rust cars the same way. And it's better, for, you know, for the farm. You don't want to have salt running in people's farm fields and shit. But yeah, beautiful drive out yesterday. Blue skies, but cold. I really like seeing all the farms and stuff. And uh, yeah, I like, I, mean, I love these pavilions. That's one of the best things. I wouldn't want to camp here with all the horses because the horses stink. But uh and horse people are horse people. But I will, you know, in the summer I'd camp up at um, Cherry Ridge. But, you know, this time of year the roads could be a little snowy and icy and it's just, it's cold. That's it. I do kind of avoid uh, campgrounds because I like having big fires. And campgrounds don't necessarily have, uh, um, you know, a lot of wood there. And sometimes I burn some stuff that, well, maybe I probably shouldn't, but uh, I do. And it, uh, you know, it's looking a little stinky a little bit to get a good fire going. I mean, last night I had a little tricky getting the fire going because of, um, well, the wood was wet and I didn't have any lighter fluid, so I was just using paper and other burnables. And uh, whew, it was smoky for a while, and I heard the fire uh, firehouse signal go off. So, uh oh, am I going to they're gonna show up thinking there's like a house fire or something? No, it's just, uh, I don't know, some other accident or something. But uh, once I got the fire going, it wasn't quite so. Wasn't quite so stinky once the you know not, not so sparky. Although for a while it was really sparky, but I mean things are pretty um, wet still from the rain and the ice, so I wasn't super worried. But uh, that wood was a little hard going from being a lot of it was frozen. That's why I actually have it stacked around the fireplace right now for tonight, just so that it'll help to dry out a little bit, especially if we get a little bit of sun or the breeze picks up. Well, I want to get out hiking a little bit, so I'm going to shut things off. And I mean I've been talking for four minutes. Wow. I mean, this, you know, this camp hasn't changed that much. I was here in, on uh, um, uh, Martin Luther King Day, so it was pretty much the same. Tomorrow I'm going to take down things probably fairly early because it's going to rain, but hopefully it won't rain right away in the morning so I can have a nice morning and then 
drive back leisurely in the rain and get back to Del Mar. Okay, well, that's uh, day two of my trip out in uh, at uh, Charles Baker State Forest.